Ah, mas calça que eu já apertei. Did you want me to say something first? No. Okay. Did you want me to leave you alone for a few minutes? Why would I want that? I don't know. It's just that you came in and asked me if we could talk, and we've been sitting here for like ten minutes, like, and you haven't said anything, and it's starting to freak me out. Sorry. Um, it's a little hard to start. I didn't want to bother you with this. I called Jackson, but he's not answering his phone. He's not? Yeah, he's probably not the best person to talk to anyways. I mean, he's practical. He's pretending. He tries to pretend like he's trying to listen, but he's not really. He's just waiting for me to stop so he can start again. That sounds about right. And I definitely cannot talk to Lydia about this. It's going to sound ridiculous. And I didn't want you to laugh at me. I would never laugh at you. It's about my family. Okay. Well, I caught my family in a, in a lie. It was really small, but my Aunt Kate, when she arrived, she was having car trouble. My dad said it was a flat tire. My Aunt Kate said it was she needed a jump start. Maybe it was just a little miscommunication. That's what I thought, and I found glass in her car that the window had been smashed in. And then I've been overhearing this strange conversations. And I think some of it has to do with Derek. Are you sure? Yeah, and this is why it's going to sound unbelievable. And you have to promise not to laugh or look at me like I'm crazy. Because I think, I think... Scott, coming home late tonight. Oh.